So here we're going to go through some exercises for stability um, through the uh, abs and the obliques, so through the center of the body, um, useful for endurance sports, um, especially running as you get fatigued. And we're going to look at using eccentric muscle, muscle contractions um, to make the exercises more effective. And eccentric contractions are as the muscle lengthens. So you'll see me doing things like uh, on a side plank, moving hips, and on a sit-up, going right back so the stomach opens up and lengthens, and then we'll uh, close it from there. So here we go with the side plank, just holding the position for the first 30 seconds. And um, in the picture-in-picture picture now, that just shows a different perspective. You can see my straight body. You don't want to get into the habit of arching back there if you're a bit weak. Um, as people tend to do, you want to keep it straight and you don't want to flip your hips under because it comes like I am there, it becomes more of an ab exercise. So keep them nice and straight. And we're at the 30 second point. So I'm going to go with the moving hips for the remainder of the set. And you can either continue to hold a straight position or just rest here but you should be working towards uh, this dynamic hip movement as uh, the top level. And that we'll see at the minute. And you want to do this on both sides. Moving to the sit-ups, um, just a straight sit-ups here, not going too far back. Uh, but you can see my hips are level on the front view there, and I'm controlling my body on the way down. So this is like the easiest stage. Then we move on to the hardest stage where the Swiss ball is further under my back, closer towards my hips. And my, you can see my shoulders dropping right down there at the back. So, that, so that's opening up the abs for an eccentric contraction and my body weight being the resistance that's got to hold on the way down. And then to the third stage with uh, straight arms. And this just adds extra resistance to the same exercise um, and again controlling the movement and really opening up the back for an eccentric contraction going back and again my arms head and shoulders become the resistance and you can use this you can use a weight during this but I like to do it with the open arm so you can see there are three variations in the sit-up routine for the abs there's just a straight sit-up and then the extended sit-up and then the extended arms um, all the while, we're building into using those eccentric muscle contractions. So putting the muscle under resistance as it lengthens. So the resistance is just your body weight going further back. And you'll find you get a much better workout when you use both the down, the drop and the rise. So the eccentric contraction and the concentric contraction. And the same goes with the obliques. If you can build up to using the um, dynamic hips towards the end, uh, that'll give you a much better workout, especially after that first 30 seconds of being of fatigue from the from the initial hold and then moving into the dynamic hip stage. So that's how you can use your body weight to get more out of your ab workout and increase your stability for anything you do.